Hi, this is Gretchen, and somebody asked a question about how to use the graduated filter. Megan asked that question. So the graduated filter tool is in the develop panel, and it's right here. It's this one that looks like a rectangle with some little lines on the side. And basically what the graduated filter does is it makes adjustments to part of your image um, wherever you, you pull down the line to. And um, then it also kind of gradually increases the effect to the area that is not where you don't pull the line over to. And instead of being like a harsh line, it's just a graduated um, increasing or decreasing. So to show you uh, what it does, here I have an example of this is a picture I took at an event I went to called Hearts at Home. And the stage had really purplish lights on them. And the this is the color of the audience. Like this is a pretty true to life picture of what the image looked like. But let's just say I wanted the stage to look less purpley. Then what I can do is I can use the graduated filter tool. And um, what you're going to do here is you want to set your effect to do whatever you want it to do. Now down here are all my presets that I've added in from different places that I've gotten them. But this is what you should have, this top part. You should have all these. And to be honest, you can select any one of these, but the truth is, is that you can just make these adjustments no matter what you have selected. Like even though I selected tint, that doesn't mean that I can't also change the saturation or the noise or the temperature or whatever. So I'm actually going to be, um, you could set it to whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and actually change the temperature because I really don't like how purplish this is. I'm going to try to make it a little bit warmer. So, you know, I'm going to change it up to this. And then you see you have that little cross. You click and you drag it down okay and you can see that it changed it a little bit this is going to be this line here with the dot is going to be where the effect is pulled down to this second section down here is where it's gradually at, um, decreasing the effect and then down here is where you shouldn't see any effect at all but even in here you can see that there's really not much effect going on it's not really changing the image that much and once you have added the graduated filter, you can still make changes. Like, let's say, oh, that's not warm enough for me. I want it a little warmer. Well, you can still open it up a little more. Or you can say, oh, that's too warm. I didn't really like that. Let me see what it looks like if I go back down. See, then you can change it. And you, like I said, you can also change these other things. You can change, um, like, let's say I feel like there's a little too much noise. So I can change my noise there. Okay, or let's say I don't really, um, I think the highlights are too bright. Okay, so I'm going to like bring them down a little bit or something. Okay, so that's just an example. And then you click done, and then it's over. Here, I'll do it again. Down here, let's just pretend like with these pick people that I think it's a little too warm. So I'll just do another graduated filter, but this time it's too warm, so I want to make it a little cooler. So I'll drag my graduated filter up. And in truth, I don't really like it. I kind of liked it the way it was before. But you can see what it looked like, how it made that change. See how that works? Okay, that's it. That's how you use the graduated filter.